All right, uh, in this video, we are going to continue our, our lab on malware or, or dynamic analysis of malware, or also uh, malware detection. Uh, this is the fourth video in the series. So the first one was the lecture of malware analysis. Uh, the second one was extracting features from log files. The third one was the machine learning part with uh, Weka, and now we're going to analyze the data set with sklearn. All right, so uh, you know if you're used, if you're following along with our lab handout uh, for this lab, you will have as your input, you know, a file that has the extracted feature vectors already, log file features.csv. And you will also have some starter code. You should have fileless.sklearn.py. So this uh, file already includes the libraries and it includes any helper functions that you might need so that we just have to uh, focus on the basic part of the code. So if you remember, if you wanna take a look, quick look at uh, log file features, underscore features, so there it is, that's our data. Remember, it's basically just a frequency count of the common terms in the data set, okay? So we're gonna proceed to open the fileless sklearn. So I'm gonna do nano file less sklearn.py and you can see here um, I've explained all of these libraries for the most part in, in the previous videos, so I'm not going to go into it again. Just notice it has the main ones, sklearn, pandas, numpy, and then from sklearn is grabbing all the libraries that you need, random forest, uh, decision trees, and so on. All right, once we have that, we also have the print stats metric function that, that I explained in another video, and this function is basically to do the statistics, right? Precision, recall, F measure, confusion matrix, etc. All right, so now that we have that, the first step that we're gonna follow is we want to read the file from the file system. So to do that, I'm going to create a variable feature and I'm gonna do gen from txt and I'm going to read the file log file features.csv. All right, so I've uh, that's our my basic function, okay, uh, for reading the files. Then I'm going to do, uh, I'm gonna say that the delimiter is gonna be a comma, and then I'm going to say to use the columns, and actually I'm gonna move this down a little, so that with a backslash, so it's easy to read. So I'm going to do use columns equal and I'm just gonna create a list comprehension of, of what which ones I want. So I'm gonna say for I in range from one comma to a thousand and one. All right, so I read all the features. Remember the first feature, the first one in this range zero is the labels. All right, once I've done this, I can specify the data type. I'm gonna say this is equal to int, because these are frequency counts. Comma, I'm gonna add another backslash here, and I'm gonna say to skip the first, um, skip header, skip the first row, which has the label names, or the heading names, column names, and close parentheses. All right, that allows me to read the data. Then I'm gonna read the labels. So I'm gonna do target equal gen from txt, and I'm going to read uh, log underscore file underscore features dot csv. All right, so I read that comma delimiter equals comma. All right, and then I'm going to say use columns equal zero. So I only specify that I want the 
zero column, oops, and I'm gonna add a backslash. Okay, now down here, I'm going, now that I read use columns, also specify the data type. So data type is going to be int, comma, and then finally skip header. So skip header equal one. All right, so we skip again the first row. All right, so now that we have this, uh, we can specify the labels. So um, the labels are already minus one and one, but if we wanted to change them, we could. So I'm just going to kind of keep that consistent with previous labs and just change them. So I'm going to do labels, label encoder, and I'm going to do dot fit transform target. So remember, this is the example where if the labels were like goodware, goodware, malware, malware, we're going to change them to 1, 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, or 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. So that's the approach here, what we're doing. Okay, once we've converted these, uh, we can proceed to scale the data. So I'm going to do feature. So remember, scaling the data or normalizing, I've already talked about this, but in the lectures, I, I recommend this as a, as a technique. So feature normalized and that's going to be standard scalar dot fit transform and we take as input feature right or features however you want to call it All right so that allows us to scale the data here right so I've done it and then finally once we've completed this part we can proceed and just do the uh, split, right? So here I'm going to split the data. I'm going to do a 75-25% split so I can do have a train set and a test set. So I'm going to create x train comma x test comma y train comma y all right, and so we call our function train test split, All right, train test split, and we provide to it feature normalized, comma, backslash there, and we provide, so we provide feature normalized, we provide the labels, comma, we specify that we want a test size equal to 0 0.25, and we specify a random state to be 0. Remember, we already talked about random state as well. Um, it has to do with how we get the same randomization every time. Right, so let me go back here. All right, so we have labels, we have test size 0 0.25, and then we have random state, and let's set it to, could set it to 42, you know, so you get always get that, or zero, for instance, all right? Now, once we have this, we are pretty much done with like the cleaning of the data, all right? Our data is ready to go. And so we can proceed now to the machine learning part. I'm just going to do two, um, classifiers I'm not really going to do all of them I'm going to do the logistic regression one first all right so I, I I like logistic regression so I'm gonna try that one also it's not one that we did in this in the WECA program so let's do that one here all right so logistic regression if you wanna you might wanna print out with your results that this is the logistic regression result so I'm going to say logistic regression results. Okay, there we go. So now we can go ahead and just call our object. So I'm going to say uh, you know log regression something log, log regression one. I create the object, so 
going to be a logistic regression. An object, okay. Now I'm going to do log reg one dot fit. So I'm going to train the data. So for this I need x train comma and y train. So I train the data, I fit the data. Then I'm going to do the predictions, so predictions, and that's going to be log. So this is log regression one dot predict, and we're going to predict on X test. And then finally we run the metrics, right? So I'm gonna do print stats metrics, and we plug in Y test comma predictions. So that's Y test and prediction. So now we can go ahead and see our results. So let me, let me add one line here, print done. All right, so let's go ahead and run this code, see what happens. So I'm gonna change that to Python. All right, let's see if it gives us any errors. And it's given us an invalid syntax error. Go back here. And that makes sense, I'm missing an equal here. Okay, try it again. All right, and that's it. So there you can see, uh, we run the logistic regression algorithm. Uh, the accuracy is 0 0.97, 97%. Confusion matrix, just one misclassification really. And you can see that here as well. All right, so that's the precision recall and F measure are all above 92%. So it does really well on this simple example. Uh, let's do one more. So I'll do the random forest classifier. So I'll go back to nano here. And I'm just gonna add one more case. So this is gonna be print random forest and I'm going to create a random forest. I'm just say forest, a random forest classifier forest dot fit. We fit on the X train comma Y train and then we have predictions and we do forest dot predict again pretty much the same thing we predict on x test and then finally we do print stats underscore metrics we take y test comma predictions and that's it that is uh sk learn uh with random forest so i'm just going to run the code now all right and there you go you can see now we have the results for logistic regression until here, right? Above 90, then we have the random forest. You can see the accuracy is higher. Basically, random forest actually did better than logistic regression. We can look at the confusion matrix and there were no misclassifications, right? And so that concludes um, our video on how to do malware analysis using uh, sklearn for machine learning. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to now analyze the same data set, but this time we're going to use um, TensorFlow and our TensorFlow code.